Hey guys, what's going on? B Craig here with B Craig Trades. Um, it's right now. It's two twenty one. It's still um market hours. We're still trading, but I'm about to be done for the day. And we had a fire, and crazy, crazy morning in the Discord group. Um, if you aren't in there already, go ahead and join the free chat. If you do want to join the premium room with alerts, entries, um, exits, um, what do you call um support, resistance, trend lines, all the other good stuff. Go ahead and join the premium room. It's only thirty dollars a month. The link is in the description, and I'll also put the link in the um the first pinned comment. But yeah, guys, um, and also like, like, like. Please like this video. Uh, I'll be going over a couple of black box things, and also going over um a couple of trades we had made. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you do like this content to support. And let's go ahead and get right to it. So first, I want to go ahead and pull up the alerts that we had done today, and um. Let's see some of the trades I made. So today I, I did 750 on pin, um, 1290 on Zoom, 138 on Boeing, 258 on AMD, um, 302 on Apple, and 654 on Tesla. Those um, Tesla trade was super early this morning. Kind of had that big little pop, um, and I was able to make money on that. The pin trade it was um, it was just moving pretty well. I think I did see a little bit of flow, but Zoom had a lot of flow this morning, and Apple had tons of flow this morning. So those are the ones I had traded. Um, let's take a look at the alerts tab, and here it is right here. So let's see. I, I had um, I had alerted. Wow, it's not too long after the bell actually signed off, but I had alerted Tesla four fifteen calls. Um, and so before I even get too far into it, on Fridays, I like to play the same expiration because they're cheaper. They're very volatile. They move um, a lot, but they're also pretty dangerous to play. So it's kind of risky. But um, it's just what I like to do on Fridays. A lot of Fridays um, is what I like to do. But yeah, so my first alert was Tesla 415 calls, 925 expiration, $2.30 a contract. Um, as you can see, I got out of some of them at 262. And uh, let me see if I can go back to the trades. So I got some at 262. And um and then I got a lot of, I got out a lot of them at two ninety nine. I had gone for one um eighty eight. So I think by the time I I think actually when I went to alert this it shot up so fast I didn't have you know it shot up like another seventy cents or seventy bucks or so. But um that was one of the first alerts I had alerted. Um and let me go ahead and pull up black box stocks for you guys. Just give me a moment. So you guys can see exactly the flow that I was talking about because Zoom and Apple has some really good flow. Um, but yeah, so my next was in AMD. So AMD, um, it might be trading up right now later on in the day. But earlier this morning, they had some puts coming in. Um, they had some puts coming in. They're about 64 cents a contract. Um, as you can see, I exited some at 77 right there. Uh, let's see. And and then I got at 77. Yeah, so I got and I got most of them at right there at 77 or 75. Um, and next alert that i had was the zoom 500 calls zoom had a ton of flow and that's what i do want to pull up for you guys um and this is early this morning flow so i'm going to scroll down and here we are so this is what zoom flow looked like this morning um i had a lawyer come off the bell i seen these um these guys getting these 500 call these 500 strikes um expiring today and it was coming in above ask you know and above ask again i was like, okay it's kind of weird so i went ahead and Watch it for a couple more seconds and went right ahead and went and alerted it. So, excuse me. So that was a pretty good trade. Um, something that worked out for everybody. Um, Tesla. Tesla had some good flow this morning too. I just want to show you guys that. I feel like most of you guys are here for black box anyway, so I might as well show what the program can do. Okay, here's Tesla flow. Tesla had a lot of flow, and this is the flow was coming. In. This is the flow that, like this morning from opening bell. Um, it's about a couple like ten minutes after the bell now. 20 minutes after the bell and this is the flow I, I think I had saw right here I was like, okay I ain't going to hop in Tesla and I was just watching the price action for the most part I was just you know I had to chart up watching the price action seeing what I was doing and I had went and hopped in Tesla and was able to um to profit on that but not only did I follow Tesla flow on this one I actually have Tesla charted out and um and I was able to see it was bouncing off the support line um, there it is. It was bouncing off this support line, so way down here, I, I saw it was bouncing off of that, and I was like, "All right, I probably can go ahead and um and get in." That was holding above it pretty well. So, and this is what Tesla looks like on um 
with all my trend lines and everything there. But it was bouncing up on that trend line pretty well, so I decided I went ahead and bought it. Then flow started to kick in, so I was able to profit on that. AMD did have some puts coming in this morning. Um, we were able to profit on that. Not too big of a profit, but profit is profit. Um, the little gains add up. I'm going to let this low so it can pull up AMD. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. See, AMD calls are coming in now, but this morning, look, it was all puts coming in. This one had alerted it, and it was, it, you know, it was, it was this is it dropped off right here. Um, yeah, you guys can see that, and you see it spiked up. I got in right about there and rolled it down to the bottom. So that was a pretty good play. Then it, it completely reversed. You know, it hit that bottom. Must be some support down there. So I need to go ahead and draw that um, that support line actually on my chart. And you know, it, it bounced up. So it went from 75 to 77. Um, you know, so good little reverse. So I could have played it both ways, but. I did it on that one and uh, I'm over AMD when I resume Tesla flow and um, yeah that's about it um, I do want to show you the pen chart I don't think there was much pen flow um, but it was just me watching the chart and um, I had it I have pen charted out actually yeah here it is right here so I saw a pen break above that um that is resistance well which would now be support and this is why it's good guys i always say all on videos this is why it's good to go ahead and have um the stocks you trade frequently or something frequently um chart it out you know so i started this out probably two weeks ago when i was trading it one day and it kind of came back to this level i saw it break above and i was like, okay pennants to go ahead and buy so it wasn't me following flow in this trade it was um me just technical analysis and watching the um price action and having it charted out and as you can see it broke above here was able to shoot higher and then has some resistance right here at the 70 level and you can see that wasn't able to break that level so maybe later on today we'll break it if the volume picks up and it has some more momentum um so i traded that pin just because some of them were in the um Um, I think that's it. Pin trade in the Apple, yeah, and and Apple. Um, there was actually some Apple flow, so I was following Apple flow, and I was looking at the chart also. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and pull Apple up. Yep, and this is what Apple looks like. My computer's going to go slow. It shouldn't. There we go. So this is what Apple um, chart looks like. Let me zoom out a little bit more. But yeah, this is what Apple chart looks like, and this is what we're trading this morning. You know, uh, I was seeing some. I was actually seeing a lot of call flow coming on Apple, and I was just watching it because I kind of got burnt on it a little bit yesterday. So I really didn't want to trade it, but the flow was just I couldn't deny the flow that was coming into it this morning. Uh, once this pulls up, I'll go ahead and show you that flow. Uh, let's see. Wow, Apple had tons of flow. But yeah, this is the flow right here, guys, in Apple this morning. So I was just kind of watching, and I was like, all right, it's a lot of flow kind of picking up in Apple. And then, you know, we went ahead and traded it for some gains. But yeah, guys, this is how Black Box works. This is how, exactly how you can use Black Box. Um, options flow with charting to go ahead and make some gains. Today was a really good day. I was, I'm was i super happy I was able to um, uh, make some money for the guys in the, in, the, in the Discord groups. If you aren't in the premium Discord group, make sure you go ahead and join. It's 30 bucks a month. Um, I probably made the guys three times that today just with all the alerts and different trades I made and stuff I called out. So go ahead and join that. We do also have a, a free main chat. You can go ahead and join and um, uh, you can kind of like test it out and see what we're about. But yeah, guys, so make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, give me something. But all right, guys, um, everybody have a good weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday.